Well, my name's Ali, and I'm a guide here at Gloucester Cathedral. And I'm standing next to a life-size stone statue, which is one of the very, very few recent additions to this building, most of the statues being centuries old. Now, she is one or two clues about who she is. One is that she's holding a little church in her hand. And the other is that she's holding a crozier, or a pastoral staff. Now, this means that she was a religious lady. She is looking after the people of her church, and she is the shepherd or shepherdess of her flock. Now, her name is Kineberger. And why was she so important that she has been placed here just a few years ago, when she lived a long time ago? We'll have to go back in time to find out. Now, back in 679, the whole area here was ruled by the Saxons. And the Saxons were Christians. And one of them, Prince Osric, wanted to show the power of God by building a minster, a large church or abbey, somewhere very near where we're standing now. And so the church was built, and he put in charge of it his sister, who was a Saxon princess and whose name was Kineberger. Now, what we have to really remember, and this is really important, is back in those days, the Saxon ladies of the royal court were very well educated. They were very cultured. But even then, it is quite amazing that she should be in charge of an, an abbey, a minster, where they had both monks and nuns. It's quite a big job, apart from which she held the job of abbess for nearly 30 years. And during that time, the whole of the building grew, the number of people in it grew, they took over estates and lands and villages and agricultural land, and it was a huge business venture. And here we have a lady, 1,300 years ago, in charge of all this, which is quite an amazing feat. Also, we have to remember that she was a Saxon princess. She could have led a life of luxury. Instead, she chose to have a life of service. And that was what she gave to the very early church in this place. This statue of Kineberger was the brainchild of Bishop Michael. And he and our master mason, Pascal, worked out how she should look. Of course, we don't really know, but we have a good guess about how she would look and what to put in the statue to make her look real. Now, Pascal and his team here at the cathedral are tirelessly working all the time, but most of their work is renovating and restoring what has been here for centuries, and this was quite a feat and quite something new to have a new statue. Also, Bishop Michael felt that women ought to be represented more here, something I would totally agree with. And uh, he also started a company, a company of St. Kineberger. Now, I'm wearing here a badge or a medal that was given me by Bishop Michael in February in 2014. And what happened was that he formed a company of people who worked in churches and parishes and church schools, not the great and the good, Perhaps they'd been an organist somewhere for 20 years, or perhaps they'd run a Sunday school for a long time. And you could nominate people to join this community, some people who'd done service to the church in the same way as Kineberger had. And I was absolutely honored, completely um, taken by surprise, to be asked to join the company. It is lovely, we meet once a year normally, in pre-COVID times, and end up having a church service and standing round this statue of Kineberger, remembering the service that she did to the early Christian church and hoping that in our own way we do a little bit of the same thing now. Now, at the time, Pascal said, it's really important to remember that 1,300 years ago, Women were respected so much that they were put in positions of great authority. 
he did say that we had quite a way to go and this, this whole issue has not really been addressed yet. Now that was in 2013 and in 2015, which was a wonderful surprise for everybody, Rachel Treweek became Bishop of Gloucester, the very first female to be a diocesan bishop and the very first female to bishop to take a place in the House of Lords. Now that is moving forward. But we do have to say it has taken 1,300 years to catch up with Kainer Berger. <laughs>